R, who is stuck in an airport like all other zombies. From his thoughts, we realize that he still has some human traits, like sensing and thinking. He did not remember anything about how he became a zombie. Here again, we are shown, there are zombies everywhere as if it was a zombie plague after effect. There, he meets zombie M who also has some human traits. Here we also see some complete zombies and they are referred to as bonnies. From the thoughts of R, we get to know that these bonnies eat every person who has a heartbeat. Meanwhile, M and R decide to go to the city in search of food. They communicate with each other by giving some sounds. Other zombies also follow these too. Few survived people are living in an area protected with walls. In the protected area, Colonel Grigio sends his daughter Julie and some youngsters to bring medicine from the pharmacy, which is situated in the unprotected area of the city. When they reach the pharmacy, the zombie team along with R and M also come there by the smell of humans. But the youngsters have guns and they begin to shoot at zombies. Some zombies die because of injury to their brains. Here, R sees Julie and he starts adoring her. He likes her so much and starts going towards her, then Julie's boyfriend Perry starts shooting at him. Then R attacks Perry and kills him, later he starts eating his flesh. After eating his brain he starts getting memories. Because of these memories, he feels as if he is still alive. After eating Perry's brain he starts getting memories of Julie, and his feelings towards Julie increase. Later he proceeds towards Julie. There, she is run out of bullets and becomes defenseless. Now R smears some blood on her face so that she cannot be identified by other zombies. He takes her to the airport and hides her in the plane, which is his hideout place. Julie is still afraid of him. R leaves her alone. He gets to know from Perry's memory that his father was also a zombie. And Julie had to kill Perry's father. From this R understands that it's the reason why Julie is fearing from him. R shows some kindness to her, but she is still doubtful. The next morning Julie sends R to bring food. After sending him she runs out. But zombies start coming there upon smelling her scent. R comes there and smears her with blood and takes her into the aeroplane. Julie starts trusting him. She requests him to take her home. R says her to wait for a few days so that other zombies don't become suspicious. They become close to each other by spending time with each other. Because of this R also starts speaking some words. Julie also talks about Perry's death. After some days, Julie starts feeling restless. One night while R was sleeping and visualizing Perry's memories, she runs from the plane. But she was caught by other zombies, in those zombies, M is also present. R reaches there in time and saves her. M gets confused because of R's action. Then Bonnies come there. They try to run but we see many Bonnies waiting for them. M hits Bonnies with a car and takes R and Julie with him to the parking lot. But, they are seen by many zombies. When R and Julie hold their hands together. They give space for them to leave. Rain starts, while they are moving in their car. And Julie starts to feel cold. They stop their car and go to the house near them to spend the night. Later we see that zombies are visualizing, the picture of hand holding of R and Julie. And a few of their memories start coming back. Their hearts start beating. Due to these beating sounds, Bonnies come there and zombies run from there. Now R and Julie see Colonel Grigio from the window. Julie doesn't want to go because the Colonel will kill R. While sleeping R tells Julie that he has killed Perry. Julie gets disappointed and sleeps quietly. While sleeping, R sees a dream for the first time. In which he sees Julie, Perry and Nora talking. And Julie calls him to join the conversation. When he wakes up joyfully, he sees Julie was gone from there. He becomes sad and starts going home. On the way, he meets M and other zombies who ran away from the airport. M tells her that, because of you and Julie, we started to feel as if we are humans. That is the reason, why Bonnies are searching for both of you. R and M decide to tell this information to Julie. They all go together from there to get the help of Julie. From the memories of Perry, R enters into the city. Leaving all zombies behind. R reaches the house of Julie, 
where she's sitting on the balcony and conversing with Nora. She is shocked by seeing R, because humans may shoot him. R tells her that, Bonnies are searching for them to kill. Moreover, the Bonnies don't like changing them into humans. That's why they are searching for Julie. Julie decides to go to Grigio. Maybe he could help them. For this, they have to take R, secretly from there. They do makeovers for R and take him secretly to the headquarters. Julie, R and Nora go inside, but only Julie goes and talks to Grigio. She tells that zombies are changed now. He doesn't believe her and reminds her that, her mother died because of zombies. Meanwhile, R comes there to convince Grigio. Seeing him Grigio becomes sure that he is a zombie. He doesn't listen to Julie anymore and points a gun on R. R tells that he is here to offer help. But he doesn't listen to anything. Meanwhile, Nora points a gun at Grigio and tells R and Julie to run from there. Nora doesn't know how to shoot it, that's why Grigio easily handles her. Siren starts while they are running from there. They go to the stadium, where they see a lot of zombies. M was leading them. While they were talking with each other, Bonnies come there frightening everyone. R and Julie run shooting Bonnies on their way. While Bonnies are attacking Grigio's soldiers, zombies save them from Bonnies. Army tells Grigio that zombies are helping them. But Grigio doesn't believe them. Meanwhile, R and Julie are surrounded by Bonnies. They can only save themselves by jumping into the pond. They jump into the pool and R takes all the impact on himself. Now Julie and R come out from the water. While they kiss each other, R's eyes become like humans. Meanwhile, Grigio comes there along with his army and shoots R. Julie tries to talk to Grigio and then she sees the wound of R. From which blood was coming. She becomes happy and tells Grigio about the oozing of blood from R's wound. Grigio gets shocked listening to this development. Because zombies are dead and they can't bleed. That means R is a full human now. Grigio takes them with him.